Welcome to the London Borough of Hounslow's online recycling guide. In the following programme, we'll show you how to use your recycling services and to recycle using the correct containers. It is really important to put the correct materials in the correct container, otherwise your recycling could go to landfill. Hounslow uses separate recycling containers to recycle different materials. Make sure your recycling containers have your house number marked clearly on the side. This will help the collection crew to return them to your property after they have been emptied. You can skip any part of the guide you wish to or pause at any time. This is the recycling box which can be stored wherever it's most convenient. The recycling box can be used to recycle a range of different materials. You can recycle food tins and drinks cans, foil and drinks cartons which should be rinsed and squashed, glass bottles and jars which should all be rinsed, any lids should be removed and placed into the box, cardboard should be completely flattened and any plastic packaging removed, clothes and shoes should be clean and dry and placed in a tied carrier bag. Household batteries must be in a carrier bag and car batteries placed next to your box when left for collection. Motor oil must be put in a sealed container. You can also recycle mobile phones and household printer cartridges, aerosols and small electrical items in this box. On your collection day, place your recycling box on the front boundary of your property, making sure it's clearly visible from the road, but not on the pavement by 7am. This is the paper bag. You can recycle all types of paper in your paper bag, including office paper, scrap paper, junk mail, pieces of paper, magazines, newspaper, catalogues, the yellow pages, telephone directories and envelopes. Please remove all plastic wrapping before placing any paper into your bag. Also, please remember that cardboard does not go into the paper bag, but into the recycling box. On your collection day, your paper bag should be placed out for collection at the front boundary of your property, on top of your recycling box by 7am. This is your small food waste bin, which should be used to store food waste in your kitchen only. We recommend that you line your bin with kitchen towel, newspaper, shredded paper or compostable bags. If you are using compostable bags, please make sure they carry this symbol. You can put all your cooked and raw food waste in this bin. Food waste includes plate scrapings, meat bones, fruit and vegetable peelings, bread, pasta and fish bones, tea bags, coffee grounds, eggshells and even dead cut flowers from your house. Do not place plastic bags in your food waste container. We recommend emptying your kitchen bin into your large food waste container on a regular basis. Keep your large bin outside, out of direct sunlight and with the lid firmly closed with the handle in the locked position. This will help reduce smells and help prevent vermin gaining access to your food waste. On collection day, place your large food waste bin at the front boundary of your property, clearly visible from the road, but not on the pavement, by 7am. Please only place the large food waste bin out for collection, and not the small kitchen bin. This is the plastic sack. Your plastic sack is for recycling plastic bottles, plastic tubs, plastic pots and plastic trays. Please rinse and squash all plastic packaging and recycle only these types of plastics. Any lids should be removed and placed into the plastic sack. Place the plastic sack at the front boundary of your property, clearly visible from the road, but not on the pavement, by 7am. This is the garden waste sack. Your garden waste sack is for recycling grass cuttings, leaves, hedge clippings, flowers and weeds, twigs and small branches. Your garden waste sack will be collected on your normal collection day one week and plastic sack the next. Please check your collection calendar to ensure you're placing it out on the correct week. Place the garden waste sack at the front boundary of your property, clearly visible from the road but not on the pavement, by 7am. All houses are provided with two garden waste sacks. You may purchase up to two extra garden waste sacks only as required. If you need more than four sacks for garden waste, you'll have to purchase Hounslow Council's white compostable garden waste sacks for this extra material. Do not place any garden waste in the black sacks as it will not be collected. The rubbish bag collection is for any materials that cannot be recycled, such as nappies, plastic film, polystyrene and sanitary products. You need to provide your rubbish bag yourself. Your rubbish bag will be collected on normal collection day every week and will be sent to a landfill site. Place the sealed rubbish bag at the front boundary of your property clearly visible from the road but not on the pavement by 7am. If you require assistance with any of your waste recycling collections, please contact the London Borough of Hounslow's Waste and Recycling Team. Thank you.